Good evening, everyone. My name is Asit. It's my pleasure to be your host for this evening's online concert, A Night at the Opera. Tonight's performance is a showcase of Singapore baritone Martin Ng. He'll be performing to a wide range of operatic styles, including bel canto, very grand opera, to very small opera and music, spanning over a century, streaming to all of you live in Facebook and YouTube channel, all the way from Victoria Concert Hall, Singapore. In the light of the present COVID-19 worldwide, with the closure of performance venue like Concert Hall Opera House, this concert hopes to provide an outlet and a means of recourse and respond to this dark period where public health takes precedence over the mental and spiritual well-being. As we embrace new technology, we try to ensure the smooth executions of this online concert, be it video or audio hoping to bring you nothing less than attending a real live concert at the comfort of your living room or in your bedroom. It wouldn't be possible without the sponsors, medias, and respective companies and individuals for their kind sponsorships, precious time, and contributions towards tonight's event. It is their continuous support for the arts that we are able to present this online concert to you. As such, we would like to thank the following sponsors, media, and respective companies and individuals. The sponsors are National Arts Council Digital Presentation Grant, Madam Huang Ma Jia Lan, Mr. C. L. Wong, Mr. Fu Kia Ming. We also have from the media coverage, Lian He Zao Bao, Xin Chuan Mei Ba Ping Dao, The Streets Times. UFM 1003, The Flying Ink Port, Portfolio Magazine. And special thanks to the following companies and individuals. They are MSM Production Asia. From Taiwan, National Kaohsiung Wei Wuying Center for the Arts. From Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur City Opera. Li Wenxia, Stephen Ang, and Jeremy Lee. And before the concert begins, let's get to know a little bit of our soloist, Martin. Born in Singapore and graduated in voice at the Conservatorio Dal Abaco di Verona from Italy, Martin made his debut with the Florence Maggiore Fiorentino Asleep and Cronton in the Purcell, The Fairy Queen. Subsequently, he had also performed in many others' opera, including Bubble of Civil, Salome, Torando, Carmen, and many more. And for tonight, we get to enjoy all these baritone areas that Martin has performed before, all in one concert. And to start off tonight's concert, you'll be the aria, Aija Vinta La Causa, Vetro Mentro Sospiro, from an opera buffa, The Marriage of Figaro, composed by Mozart in 1786. The title of the, op the, title of the aria which translated to English is, You've already won the case. Should I see while sighing? The ara was composed for the main character, Count Ama Viva. It was performed during Act 3, when Count Ama Viva overheard Susanna telling Figaro about the false promise to meet him later in the night. He erupts in a burst of rage and frustration hearing that, revealing his insecurity, his hurt pride, his conceit and propensity. This emotion fluctuations can be felt every few measures in the aria. And right after the frustrations of the Count Amar Viva, it will be a bel canto aria, Ah, Pes Sempre, sorry, Ah Sempre Yo Ti Pedei, all in English, Ah, Forever Have I Lost You, from Bellini's 1835 opera, The Puritans. The second aria of the concert was sung by the character. Ricardo, a Protestant leader, when he realized the girl he was engaged has fallen in love with another. In Bellini's opera, this typical baritone aria is an aria of forlorn love, where the baritone expresses love for the soprano, who doesn't love him, but love only the leading tenor. Without further ado, let's welcome Martin and Beatrice. Oh. 
hai già vinta la causa, cosa sento? In quella cadea. Perfidi, io voglio, io voglio di tal mano punirmi. Termino la sentenza sarà. Ma se pagasse la vecchia pretendente, pagarla in qual maniera? Poi vi Antonio, chi ha l'incognito figaro di Cusa, di dare una ribata in matrimonio. Coltivando l'orgoglio di questo mentecatto, tutto ciò da un raggiro il colpo è fatto e trovo io sospiro felice osserva
Ecco io vai, dove vai cielo, gli orrendi affanni miei. Oh. <laughs> 
Next, we have a video excerpt from Martin's recent appearance with the National Kaohsiung Wei Wing Center for the Art as Ping in Puccini's Turando. We had just watched the performance which was staged on 28th August 2020 in Taiwan, Kaohsiung, which is a month ago. The performance was Puccini's Torondo by National Kaohsiung Wei Wing Center for the Arts. It was, what, it was the world's largest full-seat public indoor theatre performance since the COVID-19. In addition to selling 3,700 tickets over two performances, Torondo also attracted 50,000 worldwide online viewers. And right beside me here is Martin, who was the only Singaporean invited in the opera. Let's welcome Martin. Hello, Asit. How are Great. you? Great. Good. How's, how is the performance so far? It was so far so good. Great. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> yeah. Right. So just now we watched about the video from Taiwan. Yes. And could you like to... Would you be able to share with us more about this unique performance that you have participated in? Uh, yes, I was. I, I feel very, very honored to be have to have been invited to perform um, in uh, uh, National Kaohsiung Performing Arts Center Wei Wu Ying's production of Turandot. Um, it was a is a is a period of during the period of COVID where you know in Singapore all the theaters are closed and that actually um, a lot of the opera singers and a lot of the classical music performances cannot go on. And in that moment, I was invited to perform, to take part in that uh, production. And I felt that it was, I was really, really happy and I really felt really grateful. Right. It was actually um, a real live performance with a real audience. Yes, it was, uh, it was uh, f full for the two nights. So um, I think that was about close to f three, four thousand uh, yes. uh, uh, people. And um, plus, it was also streamed live on YouTube to about 50,000 people worldwide. That's right. So, one question. Is there any hesitation, you know, when you are given the invitation to, to perform? You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things you need to consider, like quarantine and everything, yeah. before you are able to participate. No hesitation. <laughs> Absolutely, no hesitation. Right. How long was the invitation, you know, um, invited? Uh, it was for a period about six, five weeks. Five weeks. the quarantine for two weeks. And then uh, there was a rehearsal about two to three weeks. Yeah. Right. So you really, you know, it's the passion that keeps us going, you know. I think so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. And, right. And, you know, for tonight's concert, the earlier piece, the second mm -hmm. aria, and even yeah. for Toronto. Yeah. And upcoming two arias. Yeah. They actually is categorized into a kind of, you know, there's a name for them. 
Yeah, it's called, it's, it's called a bel canto style. Right. Yeah, Are you able to tell a little bit about what this bel canto is? Bel canto is basically um, uh, operas composed uh, in the Italian period in the early 19th century by uh, composers like Bellini, like Puritani, uh, uh, Io Sempre Ioti Per Day. And the next two performance, the next two songs I'm going to sing, Donizetti, Donizetti. Uh, Lizzie D'Amore, and... Um, uh, Largo Factotum by Berry di Sevilla, Babo Seville. Uh, the characteristics that the voice is the most important, it's the most important element in the output, and the voice has been made to do uh, many what we call pyrotechnics, like coloratura, melisma, melismatic passages, trills, patter, mm. when you sing very, very fast, words very, very fast. Yeah, yeah. and I think in uh, Figaro, we have this, you know, yes. very fast words coming out. Exactly. Right. Okay, so um, right just now you have already mentioned the two areas, which is the Comi Parade, uh, mm -hmm. parade Vesoso, and yeah. Lago Al Factutum. Yes. So maybe you can take on the center stage to prepare? Sure. Yeah, thank you, Martin. So as Martin is making his way back to prepare for the performance, let me share a, bit, a little bit more about the two areas. Comi Parade Vesoso is from the 1832 Donizetti. Alexel of Love, sung by Sergeant Belcore in Act 1, where he was declaring his love to Adina. Look out for the coloratura and melismatic passages in the aria to show the swaggle and the posturing of the charming sergeant to court the beautiful Adina. And earlier, we also had heard Count Ama Viva from Marriage of Figaro which happens to be the second play in the Figaro trilogy, preceded by the Bubble of Seville. And for the fourth aria tonight, we have Lago Al Factutum, an aria from the 1816 The Bubble of Seville by Rossini, sung at the first entrance of the lead character, Figaro. The repeated Figaros before the final patter section are an icon in the popular culture of operatic singing. It is also considered one of the most challenging operas for a baritone to perform due to its brick time signature and convolute rhyme structure. And I'm sure all of you, you know, some, some of you, the viewers out there, probably have heard this um, Rosini's Barbell. Um, it has been in this um, Looney Tunes, many, in many of the Looney Tunes um, shows. So, once again, on the center stage, Martin and Beatrice. Hello! 
You have been enjoying the opera Buffa's arias you've heard so far. Probably it's time for you to bring out some wine to continue enjoying the remaining of our concert tonight. Ova despair la triste, translated as O wine, dispel the sorrow. It's from the tradition French grand opera Hamlet by the French, by the French composer Ambrose Thomas, based on the adaptations of William Shakespeare's play Hamlet. In Act 2, Hamlet has engaged a troupe of actors to perform a play for the royal court. And before the performance begins, he sings a drinking song with them, in which he calls for wine and laughter to dispel his sadness. The song is added to the opera to show off the range and technical capabilities of the baritone lick singer, who will sing a folk cadenza all the way to a high G. It is also a drinking song not for merrymaking, but drowning one's sorrow in grief. So, if your wine is ready, sit back and enjoy. Oh, you can't, 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 o
Hope you enjoy this drinking song with Martin. And for now, I'd like to invite Martin once again with, to chat with us. I really like that. Holy cow! Whatever. Thank you yeah, very much. Very nice. I love that. I'm <laughs> about to get my wine. <laughs> it's a sad but, song though. It's a sad song, but it sounds so, you know, happy with the drink. Yeah, but it's drowning one sorrows. Yes, <laughs> I, I can really feel it in Figaro. <laughs> right. So, for the next aria, you're actually going to bring us... Um, uh, Verdi's baritone. Yes, I will be singing the the Rodrigo aria from Verdi's Don Carlo. Um, per me giunto il di supremo o Carlo ascolta. Right, it's actually made out of two short pieces. Actually, two rather long pieces. Two rather long pieces. <laughs> okay, and and yeah. into one um, continuously. Yeah, but I mean, the, for concert purposes, I, the, the middle part has been cut off. But right. So we join the two more melodic parts together. Okay, so with that, are you able to, um, you know, tell us what is this Verdi's baritone? I think uh, Verdi's baritone requires a voice of um, darker timbre from uh, the usual baritone voice, and uh, he also expects the baritone to sing very high in the in the range and to maintain like long sustained passages. So basically, lots of brilliant high notes and long sustaining passages in the high part of the voice. Right, I guess we save for the best, you know, towards the end. And I see that you're really warm up with your voice now. Uh, quite <laughs> so, yeah, quite so. Great. And just one more question. What is the difference between, you know, earlier when we talk about the bel canto and this Verdi's baritone? How, how can we actually, dis, you know, um, differentiate these two different type of um, arias? I think uh, bel canto arias uh, basically requires the voice to be... Um, to, to be light and, to, and to, to create all these little techniques I was talking to you about. But Verdi's baritone is more uh, about, uh, uh, it's more dramatic. So it's more about long legato, sustained legato, and uh, a darker timbre. And because uh, by Verdi, the, the, historically, the size of the orchestra, orchestra has gone bigger, so it requires also a, a, a voice, a, a more a bigger voice that can uh, cut through the orchestra. A more powerful voice. Yes, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, and actually right after this, uh, we're going to see another video of yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, that is actually from the 2019 uh -huh. La Traviata, which you have performed last year in KL. Yes, uh, La Traviata in KL in June, I think. June, yeah. right. Okay, and thereafter the video, it will be an, um, an Italian aria from Don Carlos. Yes, Don Carlo. Right, and the title is? Uh, per me giunto il di supremo, o Carlo ascolta. Great. And for all of you still watching with us, um, try to identify these different qualities that um, Martin has mentioned about this Verdi's baritone, uh, uh, baritone and seamless legato uh, over never-ending phrases, right? And then I brilliant try. high notes. I try. <laughs> and lastly, of course, the sustained vocalising of a high testitura of the baritone voice. I try. Right.
virtute da questo rendo a me.
Wasn't that a captivating performance? I really enjoyed the melancholic interpretations of the old Carlo Ascoda by Martin. The very last beat. Really, it really drew me into Rodrigo struggled just before his dying. The fact that although it's a parting scene, there's a little sunshine in the music that Rodrigo is happy to die for Carlos. Next on, it will be Nemico della Patria from Andre Chanel. An 1896 very small opera by Giordano. The story of the opera is based loosely on the life of a French poet, André Chanel, who was executed during the French Revolution. Very small opera is a style of Italian realist opera from the late 19th century. In this new movement, the central theme is realism, where characters and situation are based on everyday events, but in particular, the darker side. It features men on the street rather than kings and queens, princess and prince. In order to recreate this reality, stylistically, real streaks, sobs, cries actually replace all the beautiful things that you might heard in earlier areas. Nemico della Patria is an expressive monologue sung by the character Gerard in Act 3 of the opera, portraying how his revolution ideas have become lies and hypocrisy. Jared's character is partly based on Jean Lambert talent, a leading figure in the revolution. The aura represents the tragic realization of losing the meaning of life one has fight, fought hard, so hard for. And for the final performance, Nemico della Patria. Thank you. 
How are you feeling now, Martin? A bit tired. <laughs> a bit tired. <laughs> right. I think the previous two arias, it really takes a lot of energy to prepare the two songs. Yeah. How long oh, have you actually prepared for this, you know, online concert in, in Japan? I think from the time I came back from Taiwan, maybe about a month. A month. Yeah. Right. Yeah, a month. But I guess, you know, the arias that you have been performing for tonight is nothing, you know, stranger to you. Uh, some of them, yes. Yeah, some of them are, are new pieces, actually. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Some, some of them are roles that I want to do in the future. So, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I guess you will have a chance soon, man. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yes. Right. And, yeah. And I think on behalf of the online viewers, actually, there was some question that was actually being brought up. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 
So maybe you could take a little bit of time, you know? Sure, to sure. answer them. Definitely. Now it's, yeah. the, now it's a Q&A, no, right? Q&A time. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you, can, you can take a breather and just relax a little sure, bit. Sure, sure. Great. Okay. Right. The first one actually, um, something in Mandarin actually. Yeah, it says, um, right, so, so I'm going to speak in Mandarin now. Yeah. So, Martin, uh, uh, Okay, so they said, uh, okay, right. Okay, I'll switch back to English. Yes. Right. So if there are any more opportunities or you know of your upcoming concerts, how, how can you know our viewers you know find out more from you? Um they can find out from my FB and uh, that's uh, on my official pa- official page. I always put up um updates of my uh, of my, my next my upcoming performances. Right. Yeah. Oh, what, YouTube channels? Were there and many? YouTube channels as well. And YouTube channel as well, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, right, I think there are some other questions that was actually posed. Um, right. Okay. What is the highest note in Figaro area? The Figaro area, <laughs> there was actually an optional high A natural, which I sang. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think that is quite a challenge for most baritone, I guess. Uh, yes, it is. It yes, is. it is. Yeah. Um, some people sing it and some people don't. Some but uh, it's, uh, yeah, A natural is, is quite a high note. Yeah. Yeah. A, a flat or A natural? A natural. A natural, wow. Okay, I need to use for that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, talking about performance, um, you know, because of this COVID, I think a lot of the performance has been cancelled. Yeah. 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 And I heard that there's a well response, well received uh, masterclass a few years back. Yes, I think it was in 2017 and 2018 where I did like a, uh, not a kind of vocal seminar slash masterclass and the response was actually very good. Yeah. Right, so I guess one question was, um, will there be any masterclass coming up anytime? I think <laughs> once the COVID situation is over and once in Singapore they allow us to have gatherings of bigger numbers, then definitely there will be something uh, that will be organised. Right. Absolutely. So, so viewers online, you probably have to just um, watch out for the masterclass from Martin. Yeah, and learn how to sing as a baritone to a high A. <laughs> <laughs> they don't appear that often, the A's. <laughs> right, but you know, once, once in a while, it, it really makes your whole performance, you know, just that little oh, special. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think there's one more question, which probably we can just, um, just for you. Okay. What are your thoughts on the development on um, the Western <laughs> Opera in Singapore? Uh, I think I said that in a previous interview that there is actually a whole lot of room for creation because I think Western opera is an import and we are not bound by the conventions and the traditions of, 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 uh, of what is happening in Europe. And so I think that gives us a certain leeway to do a lot of other things that can, be actually, that can push the boundaries. Mm-hmm. So actually for Singapore, I think uh, apart from uh, being more creative, the next thing is also to nurture more audience to come into the concert halls and to listen to classical music and to listen to um, new operas written. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I guess a lot of us now are all, you know, um, watching pop music and even, you know, K-pops. Yeah. 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 So I guess we, ha- we, we really need viewers, audience to, to, you know, to appreciate the art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, before we can, you know, nurture even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's what, that's what the next step is for all of us arts practitioners. I mean, we're not just performers, but we also take on other roles like um, producing, doing outreach, so multitasking. Yeah, hopefully but I think it's fun as well. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully this outreach can reach out to more, you know, more communities areas, you know, in, in Singapore, not, not just in Victoria Concert Hall or Esplanade, I guess. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I, I think that there's also an initiative that's trying to actually, like, push forward the, the music into the community, and the classical music into the community, and making uh, classical music more aware among the, the people who don't usually go into the theatre, and I think that's a, a good thing. But of course, I think a lot, it needs to be a lot more needs to be done rather than what's being done now. That's true. Yeah. Probably we can get the schools to bring us, you know, to the, um, bring operas into schools. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, I think, I'm, I did not seen, I've, I've not seen the last few questions, but I'm not sure. 
just on behalf of the viewers, do you have any encore piece for us? <laughs> Does, do the viewers want me to do an encore piece? I'm sure they want. <laughs> do <Okay>. you? Okay. <laughs> right, so if the viewers want me to do an encore piece, I sh will do an encore piece. Right. Do you have one for us? That uh, you okay, I will be singing uh, Rigoletto's Aria Corti vi uh, Tortigiani Virazza Danata, which is uh, the, the aria from, uh, from Verdi's Rigoletto in the scene where uh, uh, Verdi realizes that her, his daughter has been kidnapped and he actually rants against the courtiers, asking them to release her. He wants to defend her honor because he's afraid that um, her honor has been sort of like compromised by the yes. duke. Yeah, right. So that's an aria which uh, I will sing as the encore. Right, so I'll leave the stage to you. Yes, yeah. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. That's it.
Tag.